Hi. So there was a question that came up the other day on Community Voice about using a container element to add some design features to a page. And you can actually add design features to pretty much any element that Final Sight offers within Composer. Uh, let's start with the container element. So I have a sample page right here. It's a three column layout. And if we turn on Compose Mode, you can see the third column is a container element with a content element and an accordion element inside of it. And then these two columns are just container elements. So what we're going to do is we want to add a class to this container element over here uh, so that we can apply uh, a style to it. So I'm going to click on the gear icon for the container element. And if you set up your page like this, make sure that you do get the gear icon for the container element because it's very easy to get confused between these two. I'm going to click on that gear and we need to go into the design section. So I'm going to open that up. And all I'm going to do is come up with a name for my class. This class doesn't exist yet. Um, I haven't defined it, so really I can use any name I want. The important thing is I want it to be memorable so that I can reuse this class later and I know what it does. And I also want to make sure that this doesn't duplicate, duplicate a class name that Final Sight already uses. So I always append my classes or prefix my classes rather with my initials and then we'll call this element border. That's all you have to do here. I'm going to scroll down and click Save and I'm going to turn Compose Mode off and I'm also going to publish this page because I'm pretty much done on this page. Now, of course, nothing has happened yet because we haven't defined that class. So what I need to do now is define this class uh, within a text file. So I'm going to open up my text editor and I like to use Sublime Text. Uh, you can use Notepad or uh, Text Edit on a Mac if, uh, if you'd rather do that. But I really suggest you look into Sublime Text if, uh, if you're going to be doing uh, any kind of coding. It's an excellent program. So within this text editor, I'm just going to define my class. And then I'm going to add some attributes to it. So I'm going to add some padding. I don't want any on the top. We'll put 10 pixels on the right, 10 on the bottom, and 10 on the left. I also want to add a border. We're going to make that solid black and one pixel width. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background color. We're going to make that Azure. Oops, there we go. Now that I have my uh, class defined, I want to save this file. So I'm going to save it as, we'll go to my desktop here where all my garbage is, and we'll save this as KLD custom class.css and save. So that's all I need to do there. Now I need to upload this to File Manager. So I'm going to go to Modules and Settings, Files, under File Manager. And your theme files that are designed by Final Sight are all in the Themes folder of File Manager. And in fact, they all fall under the default subfolder under Themes. So I'm going to add my custom files in the Themes folder as well but I'm going to create a new subfolder and I'm going to call this custom files just to keep my files separate from uh, the final site files. And now I'm going to upload my file to the custom files folder. We'll add it from my desktop right there and upload. Great. Now the file is online. Uh, what I need to do now is go back to Composer. And tell the theme where to find this file. So to go to your themes, you want to come over here to the Composer menu 
and click on Pages to jump up a level. Then come down to Themes, click on that, and I have a lot of themes here. You're probably only going to have one theme, and it's going to be called Default Theme. Uh, whatever your theme is, click on it. I know I'm using the FA6 demo theme here, so that's what I'm going to click on. And there's a lot going on here, but today we're just going to look at CSS assets uh, because I want to add an additional CSS asset, and that would be the file that I uploaded. So I'm going to click on this plus sign to add an additional asset. It gives me a file manager window, and I'm already in the correct folder, themes, custom files, and there's my file right there. So I'll click on that to add it, and you can see it adds that path to the assets file. And that's it. Um, we click update and the theme is ready to go. Now pay attention that we didn't change anything else within this theme. I didn't go in and change the standard main.css file. I didn't switch anything around. And that's important because if by some chance my additional CSS breaks the site somehow or breaks some feature of the site, it's really easy for me to come back in, hit this minus sign and delete that theme, update, and I'm ready to go. Uh, everything's back to normal again. So uh, just keep that in mind. Try not to touch any of the final site files like main.css or main.js. Uh, it will just save you a lot of trouble in the long run. So I'm going to refresh this just to make sure I didn't change anything. Great, because I didn't update. There's my path. So I can come back to my page. And you can see the border and the background is now applied to that third column element. So I talked about this a little bit before. Um, now that we have that class defined, we can reuse that class anywhere we want on the site. We don't have to go through all those steps again because it's already been added to our theme. So now, let's say I wanted to add a border and background to this first column as well. All I need to do is, let's turn Compose on, go to Settings for that element and open up the Design section. Uh, every element has a design section, and we can add that class, KLD-element-border. We'll save that element, turn Compose off, and the outline and background has been added to that element as well. Anyway, I hope that gives you guys a head start on making some design changes to your site. Uh, there's lots that we can do with these classes and custom classes, and I hope to go in more in more depth later on. Thanks.